It's 3.17 a.m. You wake up in the middle of the night, very thirsty. You walk barefoot to the kitchen, that icy floor on your feet. The whole house is dark, silent. Only the hum of the fridge cuts through the quiet. You open the door slowly, that cold white light washes over your sleepy face. And there it is, between last night's leftovers, the butter tub, that forgotten fruit in the corner, a silent killer you'd never suspect is hidden in plain sight. An everyday item so common, so ordinary, found in most homes that the International Agency for Research on Cancer, IARC, officially classifies as Group 1 carcinogen, the same category as cigarettes and asbestos. Studies with over half a million people, including recent evidence from UK Biobank and the NIH, show that every 50 grams consumed daily can raise your risk of colorectal cancer by 18%. And the scariest part, many people consume almost 50% more than the upper safe limit. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to review exactly what this food is and how it's silently affecting you and your family without you noticing. And in the end, when I finally show you what it is, you'll be shocked by how obvious it was and how no one warned you sooner. But first, If you want to protect your family, hit the like button and share this video right now. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Tell me in the comments, what's the one food that never misses your fridge? And where in the world are you watching from? Right down below. Imagine a world without a fridge. 150 years ago, keeping food fresh was almost impossible. Napoleon Bonaparte, with all his imperial power, died without even seeing a machine that could freeze. Christopher Columbus crossed entire oceans and never dreamed of this magic box that keeps food fresh for weeks. Survival was a daily battle. In our great-grandparents' days, preserving meat was a survival art. Mountains of salt, sun-dried jerky, hanging for days, dehydrated meat on lines outdoors. And with that came a constant risk of food poisoning. In the US, get this, wealthy families paid fortunes for a ridiculous luxury. Huge ice blocks cut from frozen rivers just to keep food fresh for a few days in a wooden cellar. The irony, that ice melted, mingling with blood and scraps, creating a disgusting bacterial soup that made everything taste awful. Then, in 1876, Carl von Linde invented the first mechanical refrigerator in Germany. It cost as much as a house. Today, push a button, instant ice. Open a door, fresh food, weeks later. A technological miracle our ancestors would have given anything to have. But pay attention. That same marvel that saved millions of lives, when used incorrectly, can silently be wrecking your health. There are things in your fridge right now that are turning into poison and you don't even know it. Stay with me to the end, you'll be stunned. I promise you change a lot of habits starting today and you share this video with a lot of people. Shall we get to the seven foods, saving the most shocking for last? Food number seven, get ready, potatoes. Yes, potatoes, the ones you buy by the bag, the base of so many meals that you innocently stash in the fridge to make them last longer. But 
it's exactly that habit so common that is turning your food into a silent toxic factory acrylamide why your fridge is the villain here below 46 fahrenheit 8 degrees celsius your fridge temperature potatoes change their natural starch converts into reducing sugars when you fry bake air fry or grill those potatoes above 248 fahrenheit or 120 degrees celsius those sugars react and acrylamide forms a probable human carcinogen the FDA advises do not store raw potatoes in the refrigerator because it can increase acrylamide when cooking. Instead, keep potatoes in a cool, dark, ventilated place outside the fridge. This tiny habit change can make a huge difference for your family's health. But protecting your family from acrylamide won't help if out of sheer convenience you make the mistake in our next item. Food number six, open can foods stored in a can. You know that leftover corn, peas, tuna you didn't use and you just stick the open can in the fridge. That's a major and dangerous mistake. Once opened, the metal can, often tin coated, reacts with oxygen and the acids in the food, tiny metal particles can migrate into your food. That can change the taste, that metallic flavor, but the real issue is chemical contamination. Beyond metals, many cans still have BPA, bisphenol A, in the inner line. Even in small amounts, BPA is an endocrine disruptor linked to long-term health issues including lower testosterone and then you can figure out why things aren't working like before the golden rule super simple as soon as you open the can immediately transfer the content to a glass or bpa free silicon container with a tie seal before refrigerating if the metal contaminations already worried you wait till you hear how our next item can turn safe food into a bacterial bomb and the danger doubles with each passing day food number five old leftovers that pot of rice from two days ago that container of beans you forgot in the fridge a bit too long you think it's in the fridge it's safe not exactly time is brutal with some foods rice and beans for example are perfect for a sneaky bacterium called bacillus cereus it doesn't spoil the taste but when ingested it releases toxins that can cause intense vomiting and severe food poisoning and the risk isn't small your odds for trouble double after five days in the fridge bottom line leftovers especially those high in starch or protein should be eaten within three to four days if it's older than that throw it out better safe than sorry but the danger isn't just how long food sits where it sits matters too food number four eggs eggs yes the perfect spot most people use in the fridge the door many fridges even come with a cute egg rack right there but that's one of the worst places for eggs the door experience the biggest temperature swings every time you open and close the fridge that fluctuation is paradise for a bacteria named salmonella in the us usda and fda guidance is clear keep eggs in their original carton in the coldest part of the refrigerator below 40 degrees fahrenheit or 4 degrees celsius 
not in the door. And don't underestimate salmonella. According to the CDC, salmonella causes about 1.35 million infections, 26,000 hospitalizations, and 420 deaths every year in the US, most linked to contaminated foods. Proper storage helps lower that risk. Food number three, acidic sauces like tomato and lemon stored in glass jars with enameled or painted labels. Sounds unbelievable, right? Glass is inert. The best way to store food, I agree. But the trap is in something you barely notice. That pretty design, the colorful label printed directly on the glass. Many glass jars, especially the ones food come and then we later reuse, have enameled painted labels or markings directly on the glass. And that's where the danger lives. Those colorful enamels often contain heavy metals like lead. When you store acidic foods, homemade tomato sauce, lemons, juice, vinaigrettes, ceviche, anything with vinegar, the acids react with the enamel. That reaction can make lead and other toxic metals migrate from the glass into your food. Lead is an extremely dangerous heavy metal that accumulates in your body, causing irreversible neurological damage, developmental problems in children, anemia, and many other serious diseases. You thought you were protecting your family by using glass, but unknowingly used glass with lead. So today, check your glass containers. If you're going to reuse jars for food, especially acidic foods, make sure they are smooth, clear glass with no enameled paint or printed markings on the surface. Prefer completely smooth glass, or if you're using ceramics, choose certified food safe glazed ceramics. Food number two, processed meat. Sausage, ham, hot dogs, bacon, salami. These items that seem so handy and tasty for breakfast, lunch, or snacks are silent traps. The studies are overwhelming. More than half a million people in research like the UK Biobank and NIH confirm processed meat consumption can raise colorectal cancer by 18% for every 50 grams eaten daily. And the worst part, many people consume almost 50% more than the safe limit. That means we are exposing ourselves to very high risk day after day without realizing the weight of that choice. You put it in the fridge and think it's fine, but you're storing a disguised enemy. What to do? drastically cut processed meats, choose fresh meats prepared at home. Changing habits isn't easy, but the health of your family are worth every effort. Think about this in the next time you shop. Now, this next one will shock you, I guarantee. Food number one, the top of our list and the danger hidden in your fridge, or more specifically, your freezer. It's the meat tray you bought at the supermarket. This one I'm sure you never imagined. It was in my own freezer until recently. Right there lurks a silent poison. That foam tray is made of polystyrene, which contains styrene classified as group 2b carcinogen or possibly carcinogenic to humans. But the big problem isn't just the foam, it's what happens when the meat sits there specifically frozen. 
Recent reports from agencies like the FDA 2014 and CEH 2024 show something alarming. Residual styrene migrates gradually into fatty foods like meat, with detectable levels rising significantly the longer it's stored. It doesn't stay put. It leaks from the foam and seeps into the meat. Studies in journals like Food Additives and Contaminants review that cumulative exposure from such plastic packaging adds to detectable styrene in human blood, a silent, constant, very common contamination. And even I, who read everything new, didn't know this. Styrene is a silent teeth. It leaves the foam, crosses into the meat and goes straight to your plate. And worse, when you are in a rush, the defrost ground beef or steaks, you stick the tray into the microwave with PVC cling film on top and blast it on high. That mistake releases two toxins at once, styrene from the tray and phthalates from the PVC foam. Both endocrine disruptors. I know, jaw on the floor, and you are already sharing this video. The fix is simple and you can do it right now. Before freezing your meat, remove it from the foam tray immediately. Transfer it to a glass container with no painted labels, please, or a silicone container. This simple step drastically reduces migration risk. And look, if I didn't know it, most people don't. Share this alert with family members and friends. They need to know. So, there you have it. The seven silent killers in your fridge, from potatoes to foam trays. Now you've got the knowledge and your family wins. Which item surprised you the most? Comment below, hit like, share and subscribe for more life-saving tips. And if you made it this far, you will also love and be shocked by this video about silent heart attack that could be harming your health. My name is Andre Wambier, I'm a cardiologist, and this is Dr. Dre Health Tips. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.